tachycardium. And then what you see here, all this big stuff that's surrounding all the chambers, that's all muscle. So this is all your myocardium or pericardium, whatever you want to call that, okay? And then like here, this more smooth lining that lines all the chambers and goes here into the vessels, that's your endocardium, okay? So I can touch epi, inside, peri or myo, and lining, endo, okay? So now let's see where my OS is horrible. Okay. <laughs> It is really horrible. Okay, so what you have here, that will be your left atrium that's here. And I can tell you that it's the left atrium because the left ventricle, it's here, that's actually the biggest chamber that you have. And this is because like here you need to pump out the blood to the entire body. So this is why actually here the muscle is so thick and also it's so big. So whenever you need, see something thick, big, it's on the left side, okay? So left ventricle, on top of is the left atrium. And then here you have your bicuspid valve. Then underneath what holds actually the bicuspid valve, and that's like that it doesn't flip flop and doesn't go backwards, so only in one direction. These strings here, those are called chordae tendinae. Chordae tendinae are attached here to the papillary muscle papillary muscle sits in the left ventricle. Okay, so right atrium, bicuspid valve, chordae tendinae, papillary muscle. This thing here that's also a ventricle, smaller, so that's our right ventricle. And here this myocardium that's like in between is the interventricular septum. Okay, it's a special name. So when I pin this, it can be threefold. It can either be myocardium, it can be interventricular septum or just cardiac muscle. Okay? So, but I will tell this. All right. So now we're getting. It's getting That's a good question. Okay, this one here, see? This is actually your left ventricle. And this here, that's the aorta. Okay, it's like a really big opening. And so this one here, this flap, that's your aortic semilunar valve. Can you see it? So, yeah. So here you have the left ventricle, that's the aorta, and that's the aortic semilunar valve. That will be the bicuspid, and that's the aortic semilunar. And here are remnants of the tricuspid valve. Okay, it's like always remnants, so sorry about that. All right, let's close this guy. Okay. Oh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, so. Aorta here, now it's on the other side, but still the same. Right here, left ventricle, there's the valve, here's the aorta. And here now, it comes out, that's actually the, semi, uh, the pulmonary trunk. That's the one that's cut open here. And usually, well, in this case not, but sometimes you can actually get the valve out here. So that's the pulmonary trunk, and that's usually the one that actually is cut open. Okay? So, and here, that's the interventricular septum. So this is supposed to be the outside where you have like here. Oh no, the interventricular groove where you have the interventricular septum on the inside. Okay, so septum inside, groove on the outside. And there's actually a groove because everybody's touching and rubbing it. <laughs> so okay. And if we flip it over, as I mentioned before, it's kind of like hard to see the cardiac sinus on the inside, but that's it on the outside. Okay, so it also goes into the right atrium. So this is where like the blood supply that surrounded the heart comes back into the heart. That's here your cardiac sinus. All right. And then what also goes in there, we said like the superior and inferior vena cava, right, from the body. So I can put my fingers through and they actually touch here in the middle. So that will be then the superior and this here is the inferior vena cava. Okay. So that's the interior. Um portion of the heart that you're looking at right now? Yes. 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 <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That's a good question. I think. Yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So when you see something that's kind of like big but not cut open, coronary sinus, and usually right on top of that here, those will be your vena cavas or vena cavae. 
<laughs> and your finger should probably be going, if you go all the way down, it'll be into the right yeah. atrium? Yeah, uh, I can't. Okay. But, yeah, but they touch, I can't hear. So this is I actually the through. posterior side. So yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, whenever okay. you open it, it looks like the left is on the left. So yeah, that's true. Oh, left is on the left, so yeah, posterior. Flip. Right, okay. Yay, thanks. Good, good call. Okay. So, yes, and then here we have the pulmonary trunk, groove, septum. Did I forget anything? Pulmonary trunk is on the anterior septum. Yes, yes. And you can always see because it's always cut open. doesn't matter which heart it is, it's always cut open. Say we don't have to know the oracle, right? No, no. Uh -huh. You're gonna ask is the base, uh, what's the base? Oh, the base is yeah, it's a little a bit different because this is actually the, the base. Is actually at the top. Yeah, okay. and that's the apex, that's the base, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But no, not um, anything else. So if it's gonna be a um, atrium or ventricle, it's gonna be from the inside. And auricle, no, because it's just part of an atrium, so okay. you don't need to know. Are you sure that you order from the outside? That's the air order, yeah, because here if I'm going through, I'm like mm. here. Okay. I come out like from the the um, left ventricle because I have like the valve here. Okay. Okay.